Well, a God morning to each of you today. Yes, hello everyone. Um, listen, we've been talking a lot about unity, and I wonder if you would place a comment in the in the comment section. Hashtag unity. Uh, hashtag God of unity. Uh, God of order, because that's uh, if we're going to, you know, get the blessing of God and. And we're going to prosper in this life, uh, spirit, soul, and body. We have to be in unity. So go That's ahead right. and comment. We'd love for you to engage. We'd love to hear from you today. Yes, say hello and yeah, hi absolutely. and good morning. And yeah. I see you do say good morning to each. You know, you, you greet each other, which is great yes. as well. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, we've been talking a great deal about the yeah, importance of have. unity and in relationships. And, and today we're going to talk about certain words yes. that actually highlight the meaning of unity. The word agree, for example, mm -hmm. means to harmonize, to bind, and to cooperate together. Right. And then I'm sure you've heard the words one accord, one accord, which mm -hmm. simply means to be in one mind with one purpose together in vision. Right. And amazingly, one accord also means to set aside personal ambitions and feelings and to work toward the purpose of the whole group. And we notice that the early church, amazingly, was strong Very in strong. unity. Mm. Right. And how do we know that? Well. The scriptures teach that. That's right. The Bible says they were of one heart, one mind, one accord, and one spirit. Mm -hmm. And we can look at the scriptures. For example, one heart, we see that in Acts 4.32, it says, Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. soul. Mm -hmm. All right. And then it says they were of one mind, one mind as well. 1 Peter 3 and 8 says, Finally, all of you, all of you, right, talking to all of us, yeah. be of one mind. All right. And then we can see that they were of one accord. And we see this in Acts 2, 46. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple. That's what it says. Then Acts 4, 24. So when they'd heard that, they raised their voice to God and with one accord. Mm. And then we see in Acts 5 and 12, and through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And then we see that they were also of one spirit, one mm -hmm. spirit. Ephesians 4, 4 says there is one body and one spirit. And then 1 Corinthians 6 and 17 says, but he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Mm -hmm. All right. And family, no wonder when you look at the early church, they were able to accomplish so much with the little that they had. And these characteristics can also be applied, especially in marriages, right? Yeah, and in any form of relationship, really. But I guess the point is that there's, that, that so much, so much can be accomplished mm. when we come together in unity. And the truth of the matter is that if we want healthy and meaningful relationships, then you will want to build unity and there's got to be that unity, all right? And so I do believe that these have been a blessing to you. We're going to continue tomorrow to talk about unity because I don't know about you, but just looking at the world, looking at the place where the church is, there's just so much division and strife. Especially um, social media. And social, social media, media is brilliant is at polarizing people. At causing division That's and right. strife. So remember, we, 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 we're wanting to build healthy, meaningful relationships and the only way that comes is by, you know, by just moving to a place of being united, especially when it comes to the church as well. Choosing to be united. Choosing, being you intentional and purposed, right. all right? So Father, I wanna thank you that we see the power of unity. And in the early church, God, they were able to accomplish so much mm. because they were of one mind, one heart, one spirit. They were one accord. And I pray today, Father, those that are watching today, maybe they, they might be divisions and, and, and stuff happening in their marriages, in families, wherever, even at workplaces. But I want to thank you that you're a God of unity. You're not a God of strife. You're not a God of chaos. In the middle of chaos, we know the enemy is working. Where there is disorder, disunity, disharmony, we know the enemy is busy working. But wherever there is unity, you are busy working. 
And I pray that we would purpose in our hearts to be in that place of unity, Father, and that you would help us, give us the wisdom, the insight in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Remember to hashtag us and just talk to us a little bit, comment in the comment section. Uh, until next time. Have a fantastic yes. day. Bye-bye.